Mmm, your lord. Mmm, cookies! Gingerbread cookies, to be specific. What makes it magic? I added a cookie! Points to anyone who gets that reference. But in the spirit of the holidays, what makes this entire moment magic? I added a gingerbread cookie. Hello everyone, my name is Jasirium and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising 4. In the last episode, we dealt with some pirates, saved a plethora of survivors on our way to defeat said pirate. Well, pirates, I should say. And people in shark costumes, but that's besides the point. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to get our intel from that one guy. I need help! Are you kidding me? Seriously, you people need to learn to use your weapons effectively and to defend yourselves. Thank you. Move your damn ass! Okay. Anyway, in this episode, we are gonna go to... We are gonna go back to where we were with that guy who was wanting morphine. And receive our intel. Hopefully he gives us some good intel. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be pissed. Out of my way! Oh, are you serious? There's another survivor in trouble! And they have the same name as that victim who... who became a fresh zombie and tried to attack me. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Just give me your thing and... Just give me your thing and piss off. Alright, and where's that damn door? Where is that damn door? Damn door, damn door, where is thy damn door? There's the damn door. No, that's not the damn door. I thought that was the damn door. Where the fuck is that damn door? Where's the door? There's the damn door. All right, open sesame. Hey, 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 no. No, no, no. Survivors only. Yes, I want to take the shortcut. Alright. Alright, I already have the morphine, so I don't have to come back here and get it again. Hello, Rosie the Riveter. How are you doing, Rosie the Riveter? I hope you're doing well, Rosie the Riveter. Ow! No touchy! Of course, there had to be zombies and fresh zombies. Then again, this is a town-wide infestation of zombies. So why am I... Ow! No touchy! I said no touchy! Ouchie! I am not here to sign autographs today, thank you very much. Okay, maybe I will sign one in blood. 
There you go, but only one. Ah! I said only one! Fine! Here! One more! It fell on its face. Alright, here we go. Open sesame. Alright, you better give me some intel. I swear to god, if you don't give me intel, I'm not gonna be. Damn it! But I can't say the command. They're called in a recovery mode. We're shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. If you unblind it, there's some booze you have to stand. Okay then. Alright. Alright, now what the hell is going on here? Damn it. Dude. Much better. Well, look, at this. look at this. Our friends from Old Town are back. Hmm. Either the zombies have been working out, or they need a medic here. I have no idea. I have no idea. But whatever it is, if God feels strong, has friends, and sports a serious hate on for Obscurus, I'm gonna... What the hell was that? What was that? My Pulitzer! sir! Gotta go! Ow! Off me! Now where'd you run off to? So... Of course, there had to be an armada of zombies in the way. Yes, hi, how are you? Oh god, there are so many damn zombies! Brad, I'm seeing the train cars strewn about everywhere. God, I hope so. Alright, out of my way. Wait, 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 newspaper, newspaper, I I see a newspaper nearby, I want it. Where is it? Where is the newspaper? Where is it? Oh boy, I am low on health. Um, okay, you know what? I'll come back for that newspaper later. Yeah, I'm not risking it. I'm gonna come back for that newspaper later. Okay, don't take fall damage. Okay, good. You did not. Thank God. Alright, let's... Alright, let's upgrade our metabolism. Ah, much better. Full health. Full health at last. Thank you. Thank you, my laddie. Right. Out of, out of the way. Oh, great. Right, out of the way. Coming through. Excuse me. Ow! Stupid zombies. Out of my way. Oh my god. That's a lot of zombies. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, out of the way. Oh no. Oh no. No no. No no. Out of 
up here. Oh my god, that was way too close. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, before we go in. Where is it? Ah, newspaper. Okay. Vintage newspaper. What do we have for this vintage newspaper? Sergeant Maria Fontana of the 108th Screaming Eagles is under investigation by the Judge Advocate General for the death of three alleged terrorists while they were in U.S. custody. The sergeant is reported to have used unethical techniques in order to coerce suspects into providing information relating to various terrorist organizations. Fontana defended her actions, stating that the intelligence led to the neutralization of several established terrorist cells. If found guilty, she will be dishonorably discharged and could potentially face prison time in a military stockade. Yikes. Brad, the trail leads into the old sewer tunnels. Brad, you there? Shit. Don't worry, Frank. Nothing bad ever happens in the sewers, right? I know I'm going the right way. Another newspaper. What do we have here? Celebrity birth announcement. Motocross champion Chuck Green and his wife Pam greeted their new daughter Katie Ann at Two Hills Hospital in Las Vegas, Nevada at 7.38 p.m. The new father nearly missed the big occasion. Pam went into early labor while Chuck was breaking his lap record at the Ingleton 300. Upon hearing of this development, he quickly affixed a jet engine to the back of his dirt bike so he could arrive in time to witness the birth. According to doctors, Katie is happy and healthy and expected to return home with the couple within the next couple of days. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. How the fuck did Chuck get a jet engine? I mean, wouldn't he have to worry about traffic and just getting pulled over in general? I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it. He, he, he affixed a jet engine to his dirt bike, and wouldn't jet engines be very, very fast? So, yeah. A little bit hazardous, a little bit dangerous. So then again, why am I questioning Dead Rising logic? Hello? Hello? Anyone in here? but you sure sound pissed. What the? Oh, shit. Hey, uh, hi. Uh, I was just, uh, okay. Uh, good super weird zombie. Good super weird nice zombie. If you are a normal 
Uncle Zombie, you'd be in pieces right now. Oh, what? Um. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? Ah, worst threesome ever. Ah, oh, great. Now you pissed them off. Oh, that is not fair! Oh, I need help. I need help so badly. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah! That is not help! Please let there- YES! Ah! I think I made it! I think I made it! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh man! My name is Diane Blackburn. I'm a security research director. You must come to Westridge so we can meet. Huh! Is this going to be an on-the-record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the CDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see, what I I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you wet my appetite a little? I can start the L3, Mr. West. We were here long before that. Years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of... Doctor? Doctor? Dr. Blackburn? Hmm. hmm. That did not sound good. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, that can go away. Oh great, now we've got, now we've got evolved zombies. That is not good. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Huh, another one of Blackburn's notes. The zombie ability to combine feeding with propagation makes them deadly, to be, sh to be sure. Our parasite is specifically engineered to seek out human prey, but in its absence, redacted will also suffice. Most interestingly, a zombie kept in long enough isolation will attack and feed upon its cohorts. Until <clears throat> under normal circumstances, the increased acridity of zombie flesh is enough to deter a zombie attacker, clearly indicating that its victim has been successfully infected. It is suspected that continuing to alter the redacted within the host organism will help manipulate the parasite. Okay, let's get out. Okay, let's get out of here. Right then, where's the exit? Wait, why am I going this way? I'm going the wrong way. Wait, what's in the locker? Oh, hello. Alright, I'm just... that... That split shot was almost gone anyway, so I'm just gonna take that one. Yeah, I took the wrong door. I took the wrong door. When I should be taking this door. Right then, to Westridge.
we're in Old Town. We need to be in Westridge over here. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Dead Rising. I know this was a little bit shorter than usual, but we will continue on with our investigation by meeting Dr. Blackburn later. So, my name has been Jasurium, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!